Hey guys, this girl got game, and we're here to do Geon's Route. We're getting through these games pretty quickly, actually. Orange Cat. So, if you, some of you may remember, I had a poll concerning Geon's voice last time. Actually, I'll just go to work while I'm talking about this. Yeah, we had a poll, and it was actually split in one thirds. <laughs> it was split one third. Uh, keep his voice the way it is, one-third change his voice, and one-third the voice you're using is good for who Gion actually is, but a cutesy voice would fit the character he's trying to portray to Hee Jung. Alright, we've seen all this before. Um, so, which I thought was pretty interesting. So what I'm thinking... Bear with me. <laughs> what I'm thinking is I'm going to change his voice to a cutesy voice uh, in my head canon. He tried using his normal voice the last two timelines and uh, he Jung was not impressed by it. Just well, He wasn't getting anywhere with he Jung. So he's like, ah, I'll put on this cutesy voice. Maybe she'll be more into that. And then as we figure out who this cute cat really is than that original voice that I had from come through. Something like that. We'll see how it goes. That's the plan as of right now anyway. So let's see. What are we doing money-wise? Okay, that's not what I wanted. No, it is what I wanted. $180. I need 20 more dollars in order to get my medication. Alright, now where... Where, oh where, would Gion be? <laughs> Gee, hey! Ugh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, you're okay and you're looking in your ear? You're showing a response! No! Those two rabbits are so close, and we were so close to both of them, but that time is over. Ugh, sad face. Okay, I know you like baths. There you are. Can I go wrong with you? Nope, I didn't think so. You're such a cute cat. <laughs> I was taking a bubble bath when I spotted the orange rabbit. I mean the orange cat that sat on the edge of the bathtub and looked at me. I'm in the middle of taking a bath. Wait for me a while, okay? Gosh. It's a good thing he's not an actual boy looking at my naked bod. Or anything. <laughs> should run into the orange cat again. Wow, that was quick. I feel like we're going to max out stuff with you very quickly. Here's a little pat. He's showing some response. How cute. And there he is again. Oh, he slipped. Are you okay? <laughs> I'm so suspicious of this cat. I have been from the beginning and I blame Nameless for that because I thought Yana was going to be really cute and then he wasn't. Ugh. So now I'm very ultra suspicious of this cat. Okay. He's not. And I can't cook. Maybe I should just arrange my meaties, because he's a cat. And he probably would prefer meaties to veggies. Might as well get that done. And a scene. Which we've. Oh. We gotta encounter the orange cat this time. Work harder. Keep busy. I need to put more effort than others. Otherwise, I'm just one of them. A plus. I need to get A plus on everything. I heard that Sam says GPA was. Yes, I had to register to an English cram school. I had to work on my English. And I had to make sure I get a good grade on my TOEIC test. And I'll join a club. It'll look good on my resume later. The professors will think of me as a well rounded student. Why are you always so busy? If you keep that up, you'll end up with no friends soon. I have to meet my friends during the weekends. Maintaining friendship is also important. It seems like you put on some weight recently. Are you working out enough? I have to work out. I have to be slim. I need to give people a good impression. I can't lose to other people. I have to work hard in everything. I need to lead a busier life. I need to be in the first place. Being first is everything. Being second is useless. Ah, Mom, who was mysteriously absent for the last route. 
Maybe she'll show her face this time around. Why do you think I invest so much money into these studies that you put me up to? Why? That's what I want to ask. Why do you invest so much into me? To what avail? I really don't know anymore. You go to such an average college. It is not acceptable to be anything but the best in this mediocre environment. And what about finding a job? An average college? But I worked really hard to get in. I'm not pushing myself hard enough. I can still do more. I have to be busier. Higher test scores, more school activities, stronger self-discipline. And then, a flawless resume. Otherwise, otherwise, I... <sighs> I was soaked in sweat. I woke up to a killer headache and felt extremely thirsty. I touched my face and felt something wet. I have this recurring dream. It started ever since my parents divorced. It always comes back to haunt me just when I'm about to overcome it. And I feel extremely lonely whenever I wake up from it. Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. Nobody knows my sorrow. No one noticed when I was crying alone in the dark. And no one paid attention when I was sick. No one. Pitter-patter. I heard. Pitter-patters. I must have woke the animals up. I looked up to the door and saw... It's the orange cat. Did he realize that I was having a nightmare? A pair of gleaming eyes were watching me in the dark. Thank God. Thank God I'm not alone. Thank you for coming. He's so warm. So this is how it feels to be with someone after a nightmare. It makes me feel relieved and gives me comfort. This recurring nightmare would always put me in great distress. Even though I don't live with mom anymore, even though she no longer sends me to cram schools against my will. I still behave as if I'm living with her. Whenever I wasn't making myself busy enough, I'd feel great pressure and anxiety. I was afraid of spending time doing nothing, wasting time. Why are you crying? Is this your way of getting attention? That's not it. I feel like I'm going to be abandoned if I fall behind others. That eventually no one would need me and I'd be left all alone. I feel scared. <laughs> I could never cry in front of other people, but I felt that, next to this small creature, I didn't have to hold myself back anymore. Just the fact that he's close to me is enough. That was just what I needed. Ah, thank you, Jion. You were a comfort to poor distressed Heejung. Alright, we should be able to find you in here. Alright, we're gonna pet your nose. There you go. His hair is so soft and fuzzy. And he's watching me taking a bath again. Nothing creepy about that. <laughs> hi, hi, hi. Okay, we got our first heart. It's going to work. Increase pressure or stress? Stress. Okay. We should probably study those soon. Hmm. What to name the animals? How about all the same stuff? Looks like our pressure actually went down. Interesting. I've got some some junk. Okay, I can go to go to school. <laughs> yes, go to school. And I was going to say, go and get our first fix of eye medication. And I can sell these things. So. So, so, and so. Okay. Hi, medication. Bye. Gracias. And home I go. Just like that. And we need to study today. But first, let's take our meds. We're gonna need it. Thank ya. Okay. Study, study, study. <laughs> Hi, Jiwoo. One day. One day it'll be your turn. Ooh, But you hate me right now. I know. My rabbits are very much interested in books. Especially their romance novels. I know exactly what to get you when the time comes. Okay. So nothing's changed. So I guess we should work on our stats. Let's see. No one's in the bathroom, so we can take a bath. Oh, tub is filled with bubbles. I should clean the tub after washing up. 
That dandelion magazine, though. A little immersion breaking. Just a little bit. Hmm. Don't want to run into other people. The bubbles look very fluffy and foamy. Uh oh, it's getting bigger and bigger. <laughs> and that's how I drowned in a bubble bath. Very unfortunate. Um, still the same. We can go and do some laundry because no one's out here. Oh no, my bra straps are all tangled. I put them into the wash bag. How did it become like this? Which one of you perverts was in my wash bag playing with my bra straps? I'm not impressed. Just so you know. It's a peaceful Sunday. Let's go have a picnic, everybody. And now the picnic's over. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Should we go out? Eh. Maybe we should go to work. For right now. Because we can't actually get any more affection with Nubu. Alright. Still the same. Um, I guess I will do another bath. He's gazing at me. Does he want to take a bath? We are not at this point in our relationship where we're going to bathe together. I'm sorry. It's not happening. Friday is the happiest day. <laughs> Except for when we slam the door in EJ's face. <laughs> Get out of here! You're not coming inside. You forget about that, mister. The silver rabbit is staring at something intently. It's my business book. A rabbit that studies. Hmm. Was he even in the bedroom? That was strange. I wonder, actually. I wondered if he was going to bring me a gift, but apparently he doesn't give me gifts yet. Hmm. Fine, I'm just going to go do some laundry. I switched the fabric softener into one that smells like jasmine. Smells lovely. Mmm, that sounds great. I should do some art. I'm just realizing, too. Let's see. Oh, pressure. Absolutely. Pressure is a big problem. Let's do some art and see what happens. Orange cat. I'll smile at ya. <laughs> How cute. He must know that I'm smiling at him. I was about to paint something when the orange cat came closer. The orange cat is rolling on the sketchbook. I, I can't... I, Gian, I can't draw like this. I can't work under these conditions. <laughs> oh. Nope, still nothing, eh? Alright, well, go to work. Get an infomercial catalog, which I can sell. Nope, still no go. Alright. Another infomercial catalog. How's the money is doing? Can I buy some more medication? Oh, I need to rest today, too. Let's see. Not quite. That would give me $193? $192? Nothing we can worry about just yet. Gotta rest. I vacantly stared at the living room wall. The wallpaper has flower patterns. Which I hadn't noticed until Jihei's route last time when we had that bit of dialogue. I'm like, oh yes, this is true. Okay, anything? No, you're still just sticking to it, eh? Alright, well, we'll do some art. Should I draw something? I drew a cartoon character. A valuable waste of time. <laughs> Alright, we're loading another scene. It's the yum yum snack. <laughs> we'll be playing through that scene next time because it'll be Jisoo's turn. Handsome black cat. Oh boy, we need to study really badly. I can't even check anything. Oh no, that was almost a bad end. Phew. That's weird. I left my notebook in here. I left it in here, but I left it at school. Which one is it? One or the other. Ugh, now I gotta rest. Good grief. Guys. Oh. 
Hey, Jisoo, that's a beautiful necklace. Oh, but you hate me looking at it. Cats are so light, indeed. And easily offended, apparently. No? Hmm. Well, I guess I'll go to work. Got a bookmark. Oh. Now we're on the vacation. And hello, wizard. Good night to you. Ugh, 29? Dude, everybody else has got 16. 29. 29 my foot. Alright, you troublemaker. Would you like to go to the university with me? Maybe I should go to the art club room to draw some pictures. I'll take Gian with me. Gian stuck his head out from the bag. He looked so cute that I laughed. Ha ha ha! Gian gave me his signature adorable look. I'll hold that pose. Hmm. Both of those things are affectionate. Put Gian on my lap or pat him. Let's see what happens when we do this. Gian curled up on my lap. He's so cute. Alright. I'm thinking that one. When I pet him, he closed his eyes as if he was pleased. He's just too adorable. <laughs> I guess either way. I mean, he's just really hard to please. I'm mean, really hard to easy to please. And then he's got a sticker right off the bat. That's nice. All right, we'll pick up some of the garbage. We can get rid of that. I painted for a long time, and it began to look as if it was going to get dark soon. I hurried back home with Gian. Did I draw too much? My right arm is aching a bit. Taking a shower with warm water at home sounds like a good idea. I heartily approve. All right, so we got a stamp right off the first date. That's pretty good. And our things went up, so I guess we picked a good option. Let's see. Get rid of this garb. Oh, actually, I should keep. What am I doing? I gotta keep this garbage. I can go to the store, but do I want to go to the store? This is an easy way to find him. I should maybe do that. I can give you an orange. Oh my goodness. Open up. Ah, oh, two hearts and blush. I didn't know cats liked oranges. He came in the bathroom again. I was bathing, and he knocked over a shampoo bottle. Thank God it didn't land on you. Be careful. <laughs> you and your hijinks, Gian. He is super cute. But, uh, I don't know about this cat. Just don't know. I have to do my groceries. Okay, keep that. We'll sell, 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 and buy, and adieu. Is that today on July 4th? Alright, he's in the bathroom again. That's good. Be easy to find him. One day he'll just suddenly change and won't be there anymore. Alright, we've almost got our eyesight where we want it to be. So that's good. Um, bath. There you are. Here, have another orange. We know you love these. Ah, Oranges? Really? You like oranges? How do you eat them? And he knocked over the shampoo bottle again. Just so distracted by those oranges. Wait, I need to level up my thingy. Oh no. Okay. Ah, more pressure. Yes, thank you very much. And this is Spotted Rabbit. You're a little ways away still. Hmm. Should I preemptively... Study, maybe I should study. I notice once again how thick the economics book is. Are we gonna cover this in one semester? Can it be done? Will we ever find out? <laughs> oh, rabbit, is your paw okay? There's a little bit of a preview for Gion's voice. <laughs> Let's see. Stress is getting up there, but where will you be in the bedroom? Sketch? Yes. I'm gonna smile at you. Smiling with you makes all my worries go away. Aww. I was drawing when Gian came next to me. Gian rubbed his face on my arm. 
I'll play with you as soon as I finish this. Wait just a minute, okay? Good Geom. You can have some oranges. Okay, we're gonna go out. Let's see. Ask Geon out. Would you like to go to the park? I want to hear the birds chirping today. Gion, do you want to go to the park with me? Do you want to hear the birds chirping? You might not want to take a cat. <laughs> Gion stuck his head out from the picnic basket. He seemed to be checking out every girl who was passing by. Nah, must be my imagination. Cats don't do that. Gion discovered a wounded sparrow. Eek, could he be thinking about... Gion, no, you should respect all living things. Gion, you're not going to bother the sparrow, are you? Disappointed tone. Gion looked at me and grinned. And he took the sparrow into his mouth and ran away. Eek! Gion, no! Oh no, the poor sparrow. Hold on, I gotta see. He looked at me and smiled. And he left the sparrow alone. I guess I need to calm down. He didn't eat the sparrow, though. I don't know if I should be yelling at him. <laughs> Gion! Another stamp! Hooray! And we'll pick up this. And oh, um, I'll pick up another thread. Leaves can stay in their natural habitat. Gion rolled on the grass and got himself dirty. I should wash him when I get home. <laughs> it feels like it's been a long time since I bathed under the sunlight. Humans need some sun too! Maybe I should give Gian a bath when I go home. Sounds like a good idea. Hey, that worked out. Alright, let's take you out again. To the beach! It's too hot today. I'll take Gian with me to the beach. Why has the weather gotten so hot all of a sudden? Is it because of global warming? Gian continued to groom himself as if he was feeling the heat in the bag as well. Gian was looking at two children playing with their parents. Are you bored or are you feeling lonely? Hmm. This is kind of interesting. Are you feeling lonely? Gian looked at me and stood still. Gian dropped his head a little. What's wrong? Oh no. I think that's the right option, but are you bored? Gian turned his head towards me and climbed up to my lap. And he rubbed his body against me. Are you alright? Hmm, I don't know. I always feel like trying to figure out how they're feeling is better usually, but maybe I'm wrong when it comes to Gian. I'll try this and see what happens. Let's look around. Oh, no pearls, no stamps. It's so disappointing. Well, pick up some dust, some thread, and What's the date at the beach if you don't pick up sand with you? Gian and I were busy looking for pretty shells that we didn't even notice it was getting dark. I wish we had more time, but we always can come back again. Shall we go home and get some rest, Gian? Let's see what happened with our points. I'm very curious. Two hearts. Oh, I can't check it because I need to sleep. Darn it. And the black hat came over and span around in circles. Like he does. That Jisoo. I'm getting pretty good at remembering their names now. I wanted to see, but the... Mm, good grief. Ah, final exam period is already next week. Is this Gion's one? I can't remember. I, it might be. After the exams, we will finally be on holidays! During the holidays, I have to go to cram school, work out, and participate in club activities. And I should pay mom a visit. I haven't been going up to Seoul more than once or twice a year. Oh, right now I don't really want to think about it. My head goes blank when I think about mom. It's already been several months since we last met. I'm afraid of seeing mom. How am I supposed to react to mom's words? How should I answer them? What can I do to not to get hurt? Thinking about those things makes me... Let's just say, reluctant to call her. It is the Gion scene. I heard something fall down on the floor in the living room. W what happened? Did the animals get hurt? Feeling a rush of anxiety, I ran to the living room. Ah, uh, this is... 
Oh, no. The living room was an absolute mess. Books from the bookshelf were scattered all over the place. Two of the books had clear scratch marks on them. The orange cat's jumping all over all the books. What are you doing? Gian is rubbing his face on an art book that cost me over $200. Oh, no. I'm busy enough already. And now even the animals are giving me trouble. My head began to throb. But they'd never caused any trouble before. No. I have no time to think about the animals during exam period. Giving them food in time is the most I can do. <sighs> I have to clean up the books, but I really don't feel like it. I don't feel like cleaning up. Everything is a mess. Just like myself. I buried my head in my hands. I'm getting a headache. Leo. I have so much things to do. What can I do? I have so much to do, but so little time. And things are not going in the way I had planned. I don't have the will to do anything. I don't even have the energy to pick up the books. I let myself fall down on the floor. Hashtag relatable. I lowered my head. I have to get up and move. But I can't. Aww. I felt something touching my elbow. John is licking my elbow. He looked harder as I began to show some reaction. So suggestive. <laughs> Despite the adverse circumstances, he made me laugh. He looks just too cute. Aw, such a cute picture. When I looked at him with and smiled, Gian stopped licking and jumped onto my lap. Hey, you. He sat on my lap and looked at me with his big, adorable eyes. His eyes were slightly slanted downwards. His face seemed to say, I'm sorry. Really? I was starting to forget about all my trouble. He expresses his emotions so transparently. When he's joyful, when he's happy, he shows it. And when he's sorry, he apologizes. I could feel his innocence, which made me smile. I stroked Gian's fur. Such a pretty orange color. Gian closed his eyes as if from enjoyment. Yes. Who cares if things are a bit messy? Who cares if I'm a bit anxious? It's not a big deal. I can just clean up when I have the energy to do so. And as for Mom, if I muster up my courage and approach her with honesty as Gian did, will she be able to understand how I feel? I hope so. You can always hold on to hope, Hee Chung. You can always hope. Alright, now can I check? Okay, so checking with his emotions was a good thing. We've established this. Let us sketch. I drew an orange. Hmm. Wonder why that is. You know, I arranged my fridge to meaties. But Gian does like oranges. Hmm. It's a good point, actually. I wonder... What? what? Gian, what's that in your mouth? Money? <laughs> Gian brought you the five dollars. It's a bit weird that a cat brought money, but I'll take it anyway. As long as he's not expecting to get something for that five dollars. Don't roll like that. Do we actually get five dollars? <laughs> I don't feel bad about using five dollars. Five dollars used, receive five dollars. <laughs> ah, just as I suspected. Actually, while I was in there, let's check. Oh, he's so satisfied. Does he like me? Well, that's good. Um, let's see, what do we need to work on? Beauty. We could go have a bath. I know he's in here, but hello. You gave me five dollars, I bought you some oranges. There you go. Ah! Oh, he likes oranges better than I thought! <laughs> and he's watching me bathe, and he knocked over the shampoo. Be careful. Okay. Should I still... There's that whole thing about stamps, you know? I don't know if 
make sure you get enough stamps. But I do need money. I need to get my eyes. Maybe when I get my eyesight up all the way. Don't worry about that then. Okay. Got some money. Weekend is such a good time to get money. Nothing changed? Okay. Get more money. Alright. Today's the 16th. We don't need to do anything yet. How much more money do we need? 119. Mm, if I go to work next weekend and sell that bookmark, I should have it. Just have enough. I think. Someone wrote something in my notebook. Cheer up. Who could it be? He'll get sick if he keeps watching. Do they all just write cheer up? Or is it someone in particular? That's one mystery I'll never solve. Final exams are over! And that means summer vacation started. I think this is... Oh, please let me go, mother. I want to just take care of our animals. We don't want to worry about cram school and all that stuff. Let's just have a nice, relaxing vacation. That sounds so nice. That jasmine fabric softener, so good. Okay. Stress, probably a good idea. Uh, tub bath, I guess. <laughs> the orange cat is sleeping in the tub? Why is he sleeping in here? I thought he was in the living room. Hmm. Strangeness. 